Hi, my name is Sach and I'm from Paradiso Solutions. In this video, I'm going to talk about Moodle multi-tenant feature. The Moodle multi-tenant feature doesn't come out of the box with Moodle. You have to have a external plugin installed and customized and configured to be able to use it. So what is multi-tenant? Multi Let's say you are a training company called LMS and you have clients such as Ford and Honda and within Ford you are dealing with two different departments called marketing and sales and so on and so forth. Let's imagine you have hundreds of clients which are taking pretty similar content from your LMS so you have a choice of installing either hundreds of Moodle instances and maintaining them, their backup, their maintenance, uh, administration and so on and so forth or you can look into a Moodle multi-tenant feature. With Moodle multi-tenant, you have one Moodle server running and it can support multiple tenants. Just like imagine yourself in a building, so the building would be your Moodle instance and the apartments, which are the tenants, would be your, your clients uh, such as Ford, Honda, and the sales department, the marketing department, so on and so forth. Let's jump into a live demo of Moodle multi-tenant feature. So what I'm going to show here is um, interface of a Moodle instance when an admin user is logged in. Cyber Learning is one of our clients and they have hundreds of schools around US whom they provide um, education. So as you can imagine, they can really leverage this powerful feature called multi-tenant. In this example, I have different tenants such as Acme Corporation, Moodle Corporation, PS Corporation. So within PS Corporation, you could have subsets such as, as soon as it loads, project managers, programmer sales. So imagine these being different departments within the PS Corporation. So on and so forth. Within Moodle, you can have subset and the subset can have their subset. So you can create a hierarchical structure. These are the tenants or you can also call them different programs. Within these tenants, you can assign them different themes you could assign them different user groups, you can assign them different curriculums and courses and so on and so forth. So in the demo, I'm going to log into the PS Corporation as one of the users and Moodle Corporation as some other users. And mind you, this is all running into the same Moodle. So the Cyber Learning Instance, the Acme, the Moodle, the PS Corporation, all of these are running on the same and one and only Moodle instance in, and these are just the different tenants. This, this one which we are logged in right now is the master tenant who can see all the data for all these different tenants. But if you log into PS tenant, then you can only see the user and the course data for that particular tenant. So let's go into one of the tenants. So I'm going to log in as such into this tenant and let's see what we see. So as soon as I log in, you will see that the theme has changed. So you can customize the theme. You can also customize the language. For example, you can have one tenant in Spanish, another one in German, and the third one in English, so on and so forth. So this particular tenant is PS Corporation. As you can see, you don't see other corporations here. This particular tenant, this particular user in this tenant can only see the data for PS corporations. So that's how you segregate the data and assure the privacy for your clients. And these are the subtenants within PS corporations. Now if we move, move into different browser, Firefox, we're going to log in as George and let's see what we see. As you can see, the URL is always the same for all the tenants. Depending on the user, um, the system recognizes which tenant they are in, which group they are in, and accordingly show different theme, different data, 
and different courses. So this particular tenant can only see the, these data and this particular uh, theme. So that's just some brief introduction about multi-tenant feature. It's, it is a very powerful, very, very much used feature. Um, and to implement this feature, you need to have a custom plugin installed. A little bit about Paradiso Solutions. We have been in business since 2007. We specialize in e-learning software and content creation courses and gaming, games and different kinds of content. We work both in education and corporate sector. You can see some of our clients here, SAP, Javelin, Allegiant Airline, American Sentinel University, Blackboard Eats, so on and so forth. These are the services we offer, integration with Salesforce, Google Apps, Mahara, Big Blue Button, Alfresco, Articulate. We offer customization, installation, hosting, support, consulting for Moodle, Totara, and Mahara. We also have in integration products with different LMSs such as Moodle or Totara. We do support clients with their course creation needs with Articulate, Captivate, Lectora. This is our uh, contact information, www.paradisosolutions.com. Give us a call for a free consultation on Moodle multi-tenant feature. Our number is 1-800-513-5923. Thanks for watching.